Hi, Thursday morning update on Tropical Storm Harvey in the Gulf of Mexico, which has unfortunately become organized quicker than anticipated. We had a large burst of convection which pulled the low-level center northward last night, and that convection quickly symmetrized about the center of circulation, such that we now have uh, curved convective bursts developing and forming an eye wall around the center of the storm, and the system looks completely different. Uh, than it looked yesterday with an inner core now forming. Recon data from last night and this morning indicates that the pressure has begun to fall rapidly with the latest value from the Air Force mission in there as I record at 984 millibars. That's about a 17 millibar pressure fall in six or seven hours, indicating that Harvey is beginning to rapidly intensify. So far, the winds measured have been below hurricane force by the plane, but we could see hurricane force winds in short order now given how quickly the system is deepening and we could see hurricane harvey in a matter of a few hours to put that in perspective yesterday's official forecast had harvey reaching hurricane strength uh, off the texas coast just before landfall at this point we're still a day and a half from that point so we have time now for her for uh, harvey to become a stronger hurricane than was forecast previously. And so this is becoming a greater danger now for wind and storm surge, in addition to the flooding problem that is already anticipated. And unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be many negative factors in the way to prevent Harvey's intensification over the next couple of days. We can see cirrus outflow expanding now in the southwest and northwest quadrants, indicating that any wind shear that was present yesterday and the day before is now gone. Uh, there's no large scale dry air in the area and uh, Harvey is over very warm waters in the northwestern Gulf of Mexico as it is the height of the hurricane season. So uh, all systems are unfortunately go for this storm and strengthening is unlikely to be impeded by anything except for inner core organization and uh, what I mean by that is occasionally you will get eye wall replacement cycles when hurricanes mature such that the eye wall will disintegrate and get replaced by a new one. During those cycles, you can get periods of weakening and reintensification that can cause changes in the intensity of the storm. Uh, but by that point, uh, we'll be talking about a mature hurricane that is a great danger regardless of its exact intensity. So we're likely to see a stronger hurricane here as it approaches southern Texas, and thus we're adding more impacts to what is already a dangerous storm. Uh, this is the National Hurricane Center official forecast, which again will likely be revised uh, to show a stronger storm as of the 10 a.m. Central Time update, but the track still sends the same message here. Here's a Friday afternoon, Hurricane Harvey east of Brownsville. By sometime late Friday night or early Saturday morning, this point is at 1 a.m. Central Time, plus or minus a few hours. There's always some uncertainty. The system is expected to be near Corpus Christi along the coast. We have hurricane warnings from Port Mansfield to Mata Gorda, Texas, with hurricane watches farther south to Brownsville, tropical storm watches for northern Mexico, and tropical storm warnings up to the Houston-Galveston area. Worth keeping in mind here that threats of rainfall and storm surge will extend uh, perhaps outside of the hurricane warning area. We have storm surge warnings over a larger portion of the coastline, tr storm surge watches up to the Houston-Galveston area and down toward Brownsville. Again, wide areas can be impacted by surge as the storm pushes water toward the coastline and causes water rises. There is an interactive map on hurricanes.gov that you can zoom in on and uh, see the storm surge inundation potential for your local area. That will be getting updated as Harvey continues to progress. And uh, again, large area of coastline impacted here. Uh, and in, in addition to storm surge and wind near the point of landfall, we will have the rain. And uh, if we look at the storm track again here, uh, once the storm makes landfall, it moves inland. And there are actually two forecast points here. There are Sunday and Monday morning points stacked on top of each other just inland over southern Texas. And then the final forecast point actually comes back out to the coast. Difficult to see, but the system goes in, stalls, and then comes back toward the coast. Some of these model forecasts now actually bring the storm back over water for a time. The primary impact of this would be prolonged winds uh, for northeastern Texas and then rainfall extending through the Houston, Galveston, and Louisiana areas. That part of the forecast is still pretty uncertain. But through the weekend, we expect the system to be stalled out and moving very slowly near south Texas, which means lots of rainfall from northern Mexico up through the Houston, Galveston area. Remember, lots of rain will be occurring north of the storm, regardless of whether it's in south Texas or not. Uh, and uh, if it moves northeastward, that will just add to the rainfall totals in eastern Texas and western Louisiana. This is the current rainfall forecast from WPC showing over 15 inches in purple here, greater than 10 inches in red over a large area of southeast Texas and Louisiana. Uh, this could be revised over time, but the overall message here is 
lots of rain. Uh, big problems. It doesn't take a lot to flood this part of the country. Do take this seriously. We are now adding uh, potentially hurricane force winds and storm surge threats to portions of the Texas coastline. In addition to this, uh, virtually every hazard that you could expect from a strong hurricane is likely to impact at least parts of Texas. And this is something to take seriously. If you get evacuation orders from your local officials, please do heed them and stay tuned to your emergency management officials, local National Weather Service office, and the National Hurricane Center for the latest updates on this developing storm. Uh, I'll have perhaps another update later this evening. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.